What's up Pisces? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle and welcome to your September 2020 tarot and astrology reading. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Pisces, this is an interesting month for you as we have a full moon in your sign um, and then we have a new moon in your opposite sign. So this is very, very much about you versus others, you versus your relationships. What do you want? Um, you know, versus what your partner wants or what certain people in your life want. Um, it's kind of all of these different themes are kind of building this month for you. Um, so very, very interesting stuff. So we start off the month on the second of the month uh, with a full moon in your sign, depending on where you're at in the world. It may be on the first, it could be, you know, a little bit off, <laughs> but for me, it's on the second. So the full moon is basically reflecting the sun's light back to it. So with the full moon being in your sign, um, this could be quite a few things. Um, it, like I said, it's very much about that theme of you versus other people in your life. Um, you could end up being a projection for other people to kind of spill their shit on. So that's kind of a negative way it could play out, but a uh, kind of better way it could play out is you could feel this renewed sense of yourself, of your identity, of who you are. Um, you know, this full moon's also aspecting Uranus and Taurus. So this could be major insights, major um, revelations, major downloads, major synchronicities, major realizations on how you view yourself or how you view another person in your life. Um, this uh, On this full moon, we also have Venus opposite Saturn. And so with this happening, you know, once again, it's very much about your joy and your passion and your creativity versus other people and trends and what other people are doing. And so there's kind of this big, like, um, kind of this big coming, um, come to moment of, uh, basically maybe feeling a little bit creatively blocked in the beginning of the month, but um, possibly having some kind of breakthrough if you can use uh, some kind of uh, communicative type of energy, if you can pay more attention to the details or communicate how you feel, and if you can kind of like allow yourself to surrender and let go. So that's what we have happening at the very beginning of the month, um, and we're going to kind of go over the rest as we get into your cards. So um, let's first start with the, your oracle card. So your first card here is how do you feel? Um, and I think that's very reflective of what we were just talking about, Pisces. Like, how do you actually feel about certain situations maybe happening in your life this month or around this time? Um, and it's followed by the card of discernment. Okay, so um, this is very much so uh, discerning how you feel versus what other people may want you to do or what other people <clears throat> kind of expect you to do. And then we also have the beautiful card of inspiration here, um, followed by the card of joy. So that does tell me that this month there are some new insights into uh, your creativity, your inspiration. You know, you could get kind of like a jump start of energy, like uh, sometime this month really pulling you in to something inspiring or something that is going to bring you happiness, joy, creativity. So we love to see that. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and start with your first week. So for your first week, you have the nine of cups, very awesome energy actually. But as I'm looking at this, I really once again kind of see possibly this decision, um, kind of similar to how she's holding an apple and an orange. And, you know, she's got a light in one of her palms and the other one's empty and she's facing the left side instead of the right side. So once again, I kind of see these two very similar. This could be some kind of decision. This could be understanding kind of how you feel versus how other people feel, understanding yourself versus how other people may identify you or maybe projecting their own shit onto you. Now, this is clarified with the fool, which is also very interesting. Um, you know, allowing yourself to just kind of surrender, allowing yourself to really be in the moment, allowing yourself to uh, surrender to inspiration and joy rather than other people's drama or other people's shit, basically. Um, really allowing yourself to take a leap of faith, to, um, you know, possibly even take a risk uh, to do something that you wouldn't normally do in a certain situation around that first week of uh, September. 
So moving on to your second week, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the second week is actually when Mars goes retrograde, and this is a super big deal for everybody, um, but Mars is going retrograde in a place for you, Pisces, that is all about your values, your income, your money, your resources, your worth, what you feel that you're worth, what you have to offer, um, and your talents and your values. And so um, these themes are going to be very, very heavy for you for the next few months. Um, and we have the Wheel of Fortune for that time for when Mars first goes retrograde. So this could bring some unexpected change, an unexpected turn of events, um, you know, something that feels very faded, synchronistic or karmic around the second week of the month. But it's clarified with the King of Cups reversed. So um, this tells me that the, I, I really, when I saw this King of Cups, I was actually feeling like this is possibly someone in your life. They could be a water sign, but they don't necessarily have to be, okay? But this could be someone in your life. I do feel like it's possibly either a romantic relationship or a family relationship. I feel like this is some kind of intimate relationship, though, where you're very intimately connected with this person, whether it's romantic or not. And I feel like this could kind of throw you off. There could be something about this that kind of that kind of uh, throws you off where you kind of get confused or you kind of maybe misunderstand something about this person or there's some kind of misunderstanding basically. Um, I also feel like <clears throat> maybe you are um, kind of taking a risk with this person in some way as well. Um, now, for some of you, this could be your own energy where you are um, feeling a little bit emotionally like down about something or um, feeling like you're a little bit out of control of a situation. And so that could be kind of the energy that some others of you are feeling if this doesn't have to do with a particular person in your life. But like I said, this is very much a month about relationships for you with Virgo season because it's your opposite sign. So it definitely is about kind of other people and, um, you know, you versus other, that kind of dynamic. So that's something that um, that's those are definitely some things that could come up the second week. But with Mars retrograde in particular, uh, Pisces, I feel like this is going to be definitely about possibly questioning your values, um, questioning how you go about getting your resources or your, um, you know, how you go about your talents or how you show your worth, you know, this could be questioning your worth, your talents, your confidence, you know, this could be questioning your financial security, your resources. Um, you could feel like you're unable to really put yourself out there or do what you want to do for some reason. Um, you could, this could, this Mars retrograde can also be about just your security in general, where you feel secure, um, making changes, you know, to, you know, making changes that somehow play into your worth or to your value, um, being more determined about what you want, uh, but it may, it may kind of test you, you know, at first, finding ways to, um, get and go after what you want and also knowing your worth. I think this transit is really going to help you with confidence, but first it's going to test you in the areas where you don't feel um, that kind of energy. And so um, this is definitely um, kind of one of those tests I feel like for you when Mars first goes retrograde. So towards the third week of the month, we actually have the universe, which I believe in this deck is the world card. Very, very interesting. So definitely kind of a full circle moment coming, um, kind of feeling like you are, um, like you're kind of like transcending something or you're kind of like finally done with something. You're finally um, growing out of something in a way. And we have the Page of Wands here as well. So another thing I'm really getting from this with the Page of Wands clarifying this is starting to see your potential, starting to see your worth, starting to see um, where you want to grow, where you need to grow, where you need to go, um, possibly even wanting to travel um, in some way, shape or form. Um, wanting to explore. That's, <clears throat> that's really what I see here is like a lot of inspiration and really wanting to explore. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing for the third week. And around the third week, um, I think is when we have the new moon in Virgo, which like I said, is your opposite sign. So it's very much about your relationships, your commitments, things like this. Um, this could also be for some of you, um, doing something to help others or doing something um, to 
uh, help the world in some way. I know that's kind of big, but you know, you may have things in mind that you want to do to help on a greater scale, on a grander scale. This could also be for some of you kind of hearing from somebody that is at a distance. Okay, this would probably be a faraway distance or talking with someone that's at a faraway distance. But more than anything, I really see you guys wanting to explore. But I think that some of you guys may be conflicted on how to go about that, if that makes sense. Um, so moving on, um, the fourth week, we have the sun card um, as your main kind of energy the fourth week. So that's really funny because that's where that inspiration and joy starts coming in. Um, you, may, you may be feeling super, super creative the last week of September. You may be really working on something that you're passionate about. I really see you guys really trying to help other people or working towards some kind of goal um, to eventually help other people. Um, and then also clarifying the sun, we have the three of wands. So once again, seeing your potential. For some of you, this could be connecting with someone that's going to help in this vision. Um, but I definitely see a vision here. These last couple weeks of September, especially this last half of September, there's kind of this bigger vision forming. We have the sun in this card, the moon in this card. And so there's kind of this bigger vision forming. There's kind of like this, I think this new moon is really going to bring a lot of realizations. It's going to really show you where you want to move forward and what you need to leave behind in order to do that. Um, for some of you, this could be with another person, like I was saying. So I did have two extra cards fall out here that I thought were interesting that I wanted to talk about. So we have the Two of Cups and the Judgment card. Um, so with Virgo energy, Virgo energy is the opposite of you Pisces. So Virgo energy can sometimes be very critical or judgmental. So that was one thing that I thought of when I saw these two cards. Um, there could be some of that going on in your relationship this month, unfortunately. Um, your partner or you or just somebody that you have a relationship with. It doesn't have to be romantic, but um, could be being a little bit more cr cr uh, <laughs> critical or judgmental than normal. Could be kind of picky or picking things apart a little bit more. Um, um, being a little bit stubborn um, but i also see this as mediation working things out i really see this as um, coming to a higher understanding of a situation if there were some kind of relationship problems this month i do feel like they end up kind of working out resolving i do feel like you're able to kind of look at both sides of the situation i do feel like maybe there's some kind of amends process that happens or some kind of like mediation that happens here that ends up really kind of leveling everything out so um, but I do think this is more of a month of kind of balancing the scales of you and other people like I was kind of saying in the beginning what do you want versus what other people want that's a huge theme that I keep seeing for you guys Pisces so um, yeah, let's see what else. So Jupiter is going direct and a place for you that is all about friendships and uh, groups of people, your social life, your social connections. So you may be, uh, you may start feeling a little bit of a weight lift around the 12th of the month or after um, where you're starting to feel a little bit more optimistic, inspired, things like that. And we can definitely see that in your reading as well. And then on the 29th, Saturn goes direct in your 11th house. So um, <clears throat> any lessons that you've learned um, any discernment that you've learned when it comes to connecting with people in your social life over the last couple years. These lessons are going to be able to start being applied after the end of this month. Your social life could feel a little bit on hold this month or a little bit like it's flatlined in so many ways because Saturn's kind of stopping for the whole month in that area. But after it goes direct, you may start feeling a little bit more um, <clears throat> determined and alive. So and there's just some things that need to be worked out with that Mars retrograde um, in Aries, which is, like I said, all about your value, your resources, your worth, your money, you know, just all your resources, your resources, not someone else's resources. Um, but so with Mars retrograde there, there's some things that need to be worked out with those with those things. Um, so you can kind of find your way, if that makes sense. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. Hopefully that was helpful. Definitely let me know down below if it ended up resonating. And I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye.